This is one of Fitness Blender's standing ab workouts. In this workout, we're going to be doing a three minute warm up followed by three rounds of seven different exercises. Let's go ahead and get started with the warm up. We're going to start off with jogging in place. We're just going to be doing this for 30 seconds. Just keep a nice even pace, and if you have the option, do this on either a nice soft carpet or on top of a mat. Doing this on top of concrete or some other kind of hard surface is a little bit rough on your ankles, knees, hips, and lower back. We're almost done. We're going to be switching to jumping jacks next. And go ahead and switch right into it. Nice quick transition. Again, another 30 seconds. And we're almost done. We're going to switch off to a torso rotation next. And go ahead and switch it. Nice quick transition going right into that torso rotation. Just trying to get a nice full range of motion. As big of a circle as you can around those hips, around that waist. Trying to lean back towards the back. Rounding that back forward towards the front. Pause the back and just switch that rotation every single time you go around. Almost done. We're going to switch into side bends next. Let's go ahead and stand up nice and straight. You're going to lean off to the left side and then switch it off to the right, just alternating back and forth. You want to be feeling this all the way from your armpit, all the way down the side of your body, even into the outside of your hip and possibly even into the outside of that knee. If you want to feel a little bit more into the outside of that knee and outside of that thigh, bring that leg that you're leaning away from underneath you just a little bit more. And we're almost done. We've got toe touches coming up next. And go ahead and switch it. Cross one foot over top of the other. Stretch down. You want this to be a really nice light stretch since we're using it before a workout. A deep stretch is only for after you're done. Otherwise, it can actually loosen up those joints too much and actually increase your chance for injury. So light stretches before workout. Deep corrective stretches only after a workout. And we're almost done with this side. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to switch those legs, which one's on top. We're going to do this stretch again, another 30 seconds. And we're almost done, about five seconds left. This is our last stretch. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and get ready for our first round of our standing abs workout. Our first exercise is a standing oblique crunch. We're doing this on one side straight through and then doing the same thing on the opposite. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Working only on that right side, you're going to bring your right knee up as high as you can, and then pull that right elbow down towards that knee, trying to get him to touch. You want to get a nice tight squeeze from the crest of that hip to the base of that rib cage, pulling that shoulder down towards that hip every single time that knee comes up. And we're almost done. It's your last repetition. Go ahead and switch sides. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Just go ahead and jump right into it. And we're almost done. One more repetition and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and start into the next one, the bent over torso rotation. You can do this without a dumbbell like we're doing here or grab a dumbbell to make it a little bit harder. Let's go ahead and get ready. And begin. You wanna keep that back perfectly flat the entire time. Try to keep that torso as parallel to the ground as possible. 
and just rotate those shoulders back and forth, trying to get as much rotation around that torso as you can. So try to keep those hands right directly in front of your chest all the time, just rotating back and forth as much as you can without letting those arms swing. And I just got two more on each side. Here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and stand up. We've got our standing toe touch crunches next. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Just keep alternating back and forth, bringing that foot up to about hip height or maybe a little bit higher. The main thing you want to try to focus on is getting a nice crunch forward, reaching down towards that toe as best you can. If your knee bends a little bit, that's okay, but try to keep that leg as straight as you possibly can. The straighter that leg is, the harder it's going to be for that crunch motion. Now you should be feeling this not only in your abdominal muscles, but also in your hip flexor, the front of that hip joint, and also the top of that thigh. All right, just got two more on each side. Almost done. Here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, we're going to be doing diagonal crunches next. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Now nice and slow, you're going to lean forward, almost like you're doing a toe touch, stretching yourself forward, but also rotating your shoulders at the same time. So as you go down, you're actually going to rotate off towards your left foot, come back up nice and straight, then go down again, rotating off towards your right foot, then come back up. Just keep rotating that elbow across to that opposite foot as best you can, trying to get as much rotation as well as leaning over forward, getting a nice crunch through not only your hip flexor, but also your abdominal muscles. You're also going to be feeling this in those obliques from that rotation motion, as well as that lower back from tipping forward. And we're almost done, just two more on each side. So one left for each side. And here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the X pivot. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bring those hands back up behind your head. Then lean forward across to the left side of your body, down towards that left foot, then pivot directly straight across to the right side of your body, and then diagonally come back up again to the left. Then go back down to the right, pivot back across to the left, and then come back up to the right side again. Just keep alternating back and forth, making an X pattern across the middle of your body every single time, and then that nice slow pivot motion at the bottom. Now you want to focus on keeping those legs relatively straight. You can bend them a little bit if you need to, but otherwise keep them nice and locked out. 
and then also keeping that back relatively flat. Now you want most of that motion coming from those hip joints and just a little tiny bit coming from a left to right motion through those obliques, but otherwise everything else through that back stays nice and straight. Now we're almost done, just have one more full revolution through. And work it back around. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the next one, the bent over back extensions. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Now you wanna bend over, getting that lower back about parallel to the ground. And then that upper back, you want to actually move in that range of motion going down and back up. So you're trying to keep that lower back as stationary as possible while moving that upper body, that torso, and those shoulders up and down as much as you can. So there's a lower back motion. You're going to feel it quite a bit in that lower back. Just keep reminding yourself you want to keep those hips completely out of it. You're trying to keep that lower back as stationary as you can. So have a couple more repetitions. And here's your last one right here, round over, and then let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move to the next one, the corkscrew squats. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. You're gonna bring those hands up to the right side of your body, rotating those shoulders off to the right as much as you can. Then nice and slow, squat down, rotating those shoulders back to the left as far as you can possibly go, and then come back up from that squat, rotating those shoulders back again to the right. Just keep alternating back and forth as you squat down off to the left, and as you come back up off to the right. Now the main thing you wanna focus at is not only this rotation, but also trying to keep those hips facing straight forward the entire time. You don't want those hips to actually do that rotation motion. You want them straight forward. So our last repetition right here, Go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna switch directions so those hands are gonna come up off to the left this time. So as you squat, those arms are gonna go across to the right. Then as you come back up, those hands come back across to the left. Now you wanna to try to keep your arms as parallel to the ground as you can the entire time. That back nice and straight. And again, try to watch those hips. You wanna keep those hips facing straight forward. Try not to let them rotate as you go from left to right. And we're almost done, just two more repetitions. It's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, that was the end of round number one. Go ahead and pause it here if you need a little bit of a break. Otherwise, you can go right on to round number two. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start round number two over with the standing side crunches. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, we're gonna start on that right side, pulling that elbow down towards that knee, bring that knee up really nice and high, getting a tight crunch on that right oblique as you pull that shoulder down towards that hip. Now just keep that motion going in a nice controlled pace. Two more repetitions. And there's your last one right there. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides, jump right into it. Do the same thing on the other side. And just two more repetitions. 
and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the bent over torso rotations. You can always hold the dumbbell between your hands to make this one a little bit harder. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bending straight over at those hips, keeping that back really nice and flat, those legs as straight as is comfortable. You're gonna rotate left to right with those arms and those shoulders, trying to keep those hands directly in front of that chest the entire time. Just try to get as much rotation as you possibly can. Almost done, just one more on each side. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's move on to the next one, the standing toe touch crunches. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bring one leg up at a time, you're gonna crunch forward down towards that toe as hard as you possibly can, rounding those shoulders forward, trying to keep that leg as straight as possible. And we're almost done, just two more on each leg. And here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, let's move on to the next one, the diagonal crunches. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bring those hands back up behind your head, crunching forward off to the left, getting a nice tight rotation on those shoulders, coming back up to the center, and then rotating and crunching off to the right. Just keep alternating back and forth, trying to get as much rotation through those shoulders as you can, as well as getting a nice tight squeeze every time you go down. And we're almost done, just one more on each side. And let it relax. All right, let's move on to the next one, the X pivot. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Crunching down and rotating off to the left, straight across, pivot to the right, then come back up to the left side, then diagonally back down again to the right, Pivot back to the left, 
and then diagonally back up to the right. Just keep alternating back and forth and trying to focus on exaggerating that motion as much as you can. Almost done, making your way back across, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the bent over back extensions. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Bending straight over, try to get your torso as parallel to the ground as you can. Try to keep that lower back right there, and then round those shoulders forward, and then arch them back up. You're going to be feeling this primarily in that lower back. You might even feel a little bit into those hamstrings from holding this position. But this is primarily a lower back exercise. And just a couple more repetitions. And here's your last one right here. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the corkscrew squats. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Starting off to the right with those hands directly in front of that chest. Slowly squat down as you rotate off to the left, trying to keep those hands about parallel to the ground. Then slowly back to the right as you come back up from that squat. Then drop it right back down again, rotating back to the left. Just keep that motion going exactly the same. Trying to keep that back nice and flat. And then make sure you're watching that squat, keeping your weight back in those heels. Just two more repetitions. And here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, we're going to switch sides. And do the same thing, just rotating the opposite direction. It's that same squat motion, just starting with those hands on the left and rotating across to the right. Just remember, try to keep those hands as parallel to the ground as you can. And two more repetitions. Your last one right here, and let it relax. All right, that was the end of round number two. Go ahead and pause it here, otherwise we're gonna start right into round number three. All right, let's go ahead and start it back over with the standing side crunches. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Starting on that right side, Pulling that knee up really nice and high, pulling that elbow down towards that knee, getting a nice tight crunch on that right oblique, from the base of that rib cage to the crest of that hip. Two more repetitions and we switch sides. 
and go ahead and switch sides, jump right into it, same exact motion. And two more repetitions. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and move on to the next one, the bent over torso rotations. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bending straight over, trying to get that torso as parallel to the ground as you can. Slowly rotate those shoulders left to right, trying to get as much rotation on that torso as possible. And we're almost done, just two more repetitions on each side. And here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move to the next one, the standing toe touch crunches. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bring one leg up at a time, stretching down towards that toe as far as you can, rounding those shoulders over, get a nice tight squeeze on those abdominal muscles. You're going to feel it in those abs, those hip flexors, the front of that hip, and the quadricep, the top of that thigh. Just try to get as much range of motion out of as you can, trying to keep that leg as straight as possible. Just two more repetitions on each side. And one left. And let it relax. All right, let's move it to the next one, the diagonal crunches. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Hands up back behind your head, crunching and rotating off towards the left. Then nice and slow, come back up straight. Then crunching and rotating off to the right. Just keep alternating back and forth, really trying to exaggerate that motion, that rotation through your shoulders, as well as trying to get down towards those toes. And we're almost done, just one more on each side. Last one off to the right. 
and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the X pivot. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Rotating and crunching down across to the left side. Pause at the bottom, pivot off to the right. Then come back up, diagonally across to the left. Back down again, diagonally to the right. Pivot again, back to the left. And then back up, diagonally to the right again. To keep alternating back and forth. Nice, slow, fluid motion. Trying to exaggerate that motion as best you can the entire time. Almost done, just one more full cycle. And making your way back across. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the bent over back extensions. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bending forward at those hips, keeping that back nice and flat. Then nice and slow, round those shoulders forward. Then back up again, arching up, but trying to keep that lower back completely stationary, parallel to the ground. Just a couple more repetitions. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the corkscrew squats. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. With those hands off to the right side, shoulders rotated to the right. Nice and slow, squat down, rotating those shoulders back to the left, keeping those arms as parallel to the ground as you can. Then rotate it back to the right as you stand back up from that squat. Every time you drop down, rotate those shoulders off to the left. Every time you stand up, those hands come back across to the right. Got two more repetitions. Here's your last one. And let it relax. Go ahead and switch those sides so those arms can come up to the left this time. As you squat down, you rotate to the right. And we're almost done, two more repetitions. Here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, good job. You just finished one of Fitness Blender's standing ab workouts.